I think what's so disappointing about this interview is that he didn't even realize the harm that he was causing to not only himself, but to his own community. And you can also tell the comfortability in his behavior. It's like nobody's around him is challenging him, right, to make him a better person. It's like they're just watching him drown <laughs> in a sense in how he's moving because what he said made no sense at all. He doesn't see him having children by different women is creating broken homes, which tells me you don't really understand the full impact that you can have on your children. And the fact that she had to talk to him sweet and soft, give him softball compliments for him to really open up and try to get a real understanding of what she was trying to say is all I need to know. <laughs> And him and Nick Cannon interview are very much alike. It's given being around and having proximity to women is what gives them that value. But it's like you should see that value without it, right? It's like that connection to women gives them that, I guess, ego boost or that confidence when you should already have that before that comes. Yeah, I don't know. Child, what did y'all think about this interview? This was eye telling and it lets me know where we're really at as a whole. <laughs> and not saying that his story is attached to, you know, but it's just as a unit, we have got to do better. <laughs> as a unit, we got to do better. And I'm not speaking individualism, okay? Stay with me. As a unit, got to do better. Bye, y'all.